Good afternoon and hello. My name is Dolly Hiller, and I'm your host today for the webinar Pause with MPSA. It's our webinar for veterans that have PTSD. Um, as I said, my name is Dolly Hiller, um, and I am your host. Um, I, I wanted to talk about a couple of things, Sandra, before we move forward with the webinar to explain that PAWS stands for Puppies Assisting Wounded Service Members. And MPSA stands for the National PTSD Service Association. Um, I'm, I'm delighted. I know, Sandra, you've talked, you're recording this as well, and you share with the audience that we're gonna be providing these webinars on, on a regular monthly basis. But I wanted to share with my audience who you are. I'm, I'm just delighted to have you here. I'm just gonna move you around here. Um, you are the founder and president of the National PTSD Service Association, which is just awesome. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. I appreciate it. I wanted our audience to also know that this is being recorded, the webinar. So in case they would like to have a link available, it will be made available upon request. We have two hashtags that we formed for the webinar. Uh, and I'm sure we're gonna have many more in the future, but these are uh, hashtag pause MPSA and hashtag MPSA SRQ. I also want to share that at the end of the webinar, we're gonna offer a special discount offer for those that are part of the webinar. And you have to stay till the end in order to receive that secret special code uh, that we'll be providing at the end of the webinar. We have also a brief one minute survey we would love for you to participate in. Um, I, Sandra and I have done surveys before and they are a tremendous help that it really helps us understand who our market target market is. And I am your host along with Sandra, but I, I thought I would just give you a little bit of information about myself. Um, I've worked over 20 years in public relations, uh, focusing my media relations background in helping startups, introducing startups, uh, nonprofits into uh, the regional and national markets. I've also had a special interest helping pet brands. I've worked, uh, connect with veterans as well, by the way. I've worked with um, Purina, Pause for Patriots, a very similar uh, nonprofit organization like yours, Sandra, and they're out of Rockwell, Texas. I've worked with the American Kennel Club, the AKC, and the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, the ASPCA. And I'm now sharing my passion with veterans, helping them with PTSD, and with you, Sandra, and your amazing organization. So I just wanted to do you know, a little housekeeping, share a little background about who I am, so um, the audience can feel a little bit more connected. Okay, so I am so thrilled to be working with Sandra. And let me move this over here. I'm just getting acquainted with Zoom. Um, there we go. So Sandra, uh, you have an amazing, amazing background in real estate. This lady is so successful in Sarasota County. Brilliant. And I know you're very busy working right now in real estate, starting a, a different division of your company. And Mark, a very uh, accomplished, uh, retired U.S. Air Force Lieutenant Colonel, wonderful man. And um, he does welfare. Yeah, I'm not welfare. Wealth. He's a wealth investor. I know you can explain further, Sandra. I, I don't want to say the wrong things, but I want to know why did you guys want to form this nonprofit when you just have outstanding backgrounds and careers already? Thank you for saying that. But Mark and I are both of the belief system that if we've benefited from something that's handsomely enriched our lives, how can we duplicate that for others? who are experiencing some of our uh, similar situations. And we've applied that in business and we know the power of duplication and we know the power of when you have a mission and a passion. So in 2016, we took what we learned from developing this uh, first service dog that might be in some of our pictures, Allie LeBlanc, that's her AKC oh, yeah. name. She's a full blooded you Belgian Malinois. Mm -hmm. And we, are providing that opportunity for other veterans and first responders with PTSD. Now, Mark's PTSD mm -hmm. is not at the level of severity of where these dogs that we're providing for veterans can and will address. It's 100% effective. And that was his experience. We happened to own some businesses and had some business acumen to distill and distinguish 
wonderful opportunities for the dogs, for the people, for the training. And now we have brought that to National PTSD Service Association so that it is not a family dog, mm -hmm. but a dog for life. And the best practices we have learned was and is incorporated in the PAWS bill. So talk more about the PAWS bill because people want to yes. know about this oh, high criteria. Definitely. Yeah. Could, can, can I maybe circle back a little bit and talk about how PTSD is related uh, is a related suicide that is the 10th leading cause of death in the United States. Now that's, to me, when I read that, I just, I couldn't believe it. That's amazing. And, uh, the, you know, there's been studies conducted like at Purdue University in 2018. There's been various studies that, that do show the importance of a service dog helping a veteran or anybody that has a qualified PTSD. Um, I don't know, what would you call that? PTSD or qualified that you have? Well, with veterans and first responders, yes. they already have healthcare providers that are continually assessing that. That's but it. you and I are living in a time on earth where uh, post-traumatic stress disorder and our trainers work with children, uh, adults, that our best practices have been formed over 40 years. Mm -hmm. And we are finding a time right now where this is the best option for somebody who's experiencing PTSD to have a highly trained service dog and our trainers can do that. It doesn't fit in to our charity, but we know from our 501c3, mm -hmm. because it is a disability, we can provide that service as a health and welfare benefit for suicide prevention. Definitely. Startling numbers as you have well um, documented in what you just said. Mm -hmm. and I think the number is only going to go up and this is a solution that works for everyone if they're willing to take the steps and understand what a service dog does. That's what the PAWS bill clearly defines. We, we really like to dig into this subject because it, it says a lot, doesn't it, Dolly? Oh, totally, totally. And, you know, the beauty about your organization is that you are just right now working with veterans from Charlotte County to Hillsborough County. But I know that you, you guys have plans for expanding across the country. Absolutely across the country because dog trainers around the country have been shut down. Mm -hmm. There are whole communities that have been shut down, but we have not been shut down. Thank you for how we have handled this where we're a great resource, but our resourcefulness mm -hmm. has already developed strong relationship with our Florida training providers. And we are getting folks from around the United States. We never thought we wanted to do that, but before the shutdown, mm -hmm. we were integrating and referring them to organizations in those parts of the country. Now I'm seeing that we're getting calls from all over the country, even though our, our first priority is like you said, Sarasota, mm -hmm. Charlotte, Sarasota, Manatee and Hillsborough County. Right, exactly. And so what, what brings us today to be to to be talking to be chatting to be having this our first webinar is the puppies assisting wounded service members uh act of 2019 and this is a wonderful bill that was introduced by john rutherford congressman john rutherford um in on june 5th 2019 um i believe it was passed quite quickly in in the congress like they passed it right away and then it, it was moved to the senate However, there was this waiting period, um, you know, and you're going to talk more about that, uh, what's happening and because of COVID-19. But what the PAWS Act does is that it is a, a bill that provides uh, grant programs to um, service to veterans that are in need of a service dog. They provide grants that automatically at ten or $25,000. And you're gonna talk more about that, which I know. So I'm going to now hand the floor over to you, Sandra, because you know more about where we're at with the pause bill. The nice thing about the pause bill is it sets a high standard and a high bar for accountability. And it came about from the collaboration of the dog trainers and organizations around the United States that have set that high bar and have a 100% success rate. 100% success rate with the recipient and 100% success rate with the dog. So the wide range of budget for the dog, it, it also addresses the wide range of PTSD that we, we will um, be involved with. Some people will have 
uh, very severe medical issues mm -hmm. that come about because of this and the extra training and the extra scent work that that dog needs. Where we are is this has not been funded. That's okay, mm -hmm. we're used to that, right? Mm -hmm. As a game changer exactly. for all of us, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Because we have got a situation where we've got dog trainers now and a budget of only $7,500 a dog between two to four months of training mm -hmm. where we're remarkably different than other disability programs. Mm -hmm. is there is no fostering these dogs. These dogs are matched up early on with the recipient. And we talk about that in the pause wheel. The dog has to be matched up with the recipient and because the whole family's involved, it is not a family dog, but the dog is with the family for a very, very long time. That matchup process takes a lot of acumen. It takes mm -hmm. a lot of expertise, whether it's a specific puppy from a bloodline, whether it's, whether we can, uh, we, and we like to, and we can work with rescue breed, breed types that fall in the line of what's appropriate for a disability that, that addresses a disability. Yeah, that's so the dog is in someone's house. This is the most asked question I get as a realtor. These dogs are in your home. Mm -hmm. So remember, homeowner's insurance is covered. You will not be able to get homeowner's insurance on what insurers have deemed mm -hmm. dogs that are not insurable. This is insurance criteria. So it's not oh, going to be a Doberman. Although a there are some there are some governments that have worked for people. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be a Doberman, American Stafford Terrier, or Pitbull, whatever label you want to put it. Mm -hmm. sure. It's not going to be one of those dogs. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be a Rottweiler. So for the dogs, the herding breed type dogs that work very well are already wonderful dogs to have in your home. These matchups mean this is a specific puppy or a specific rescue that works well with that family. We analyze whether that family has a cat, whether they have a hamster, I have chickens. Mm -hmm. So in my family, these dogs, our dog, Allie, goes everywhere with my husband and is in the yard with the chickens, with the cat, with, <laughs> with the tiny little dog, our environment. That's appropriate for our household and we have a yard. And recently, and I know I'm taking a little more time than I really oh, that's want okay. to explain this. Is this. Very Recently, important. with some recipients of ours that did not have a fence yard, Home Depot partnered with us and they built that recipient right. a fence. And, then, right. and during the shutdown, Home Depot's volunteers could not be the people who installed the fence. Guess what? Recent, uh, well, general contractors in our area, because I have 20 years of relationships with general contractors in our area, fencing, plumbing, electrician. Yes. Well, we had H&Y step up and get that fence installed as soon as the product was delivered, all because of the pause bill setting a very high standard, mm -hmm. safety standard for the dog, for the family, and also those recipients being vetted at that level, they love it because they're, it's different. This is not a dog in, in the grocery cart that you're gonna take around the park right. or in the store. This dog is making a difference in that person's life. The appropriate exactly. response, right, is yes. if you have a service dog, our, our recipients get a, get a practices in the little towns in Sarasota, Manatee, Right. In Hillsborough County, they get to go out and practice with their dogs. Mm -hmm. What it's like to be denied entrance, spoken to abruptly, oh, and yes, how yes. we right. get to practice all the awful things that can happen, not risk a life. We're talking about there are still, there's a sensitivity training for all mm -hmm. of us, mm -hmm. that that veteran with their service dog cannot be denied entrance now. Does everyone, is everyone aware of the possibility? No, that's why we're talking about it. And we're probably going to be talking about it twice a month for years and years. Oh, yeah, for sure. We're helping, sure. we're helping educate. Um, we're helping the sensitivity of that is a real disability. Mm -hmm. It's just now in our environment, every sidewalk has little bumps on it for people who are seeing impaired. Mm -hmm. How oh, long has it been oh, wow. yeah, that's true. since Helen Keller started that's making true. us aware no, of that true. disability? So that's it's true. just, we're just going to work together in making everyone aware. And since it's hit a federal level, it gives us much more traction 
mm -hmm. to speak about it in a more fluid way, that this is an acceptable high level of conduct that we're expecting from that service dog mm -hmm. and we're expecting from the match for the recipient and the service dog. So there's no more pretender dog right. trainers out there. Exactly. This so, is, yeah, no, ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I agree with you completely, totally. So I thought I would share with our audience a little bit about you, the training fields and the different partners that you work with, the different training facilities, I should say. And um, I, I wanted to share um, this uh, training facility that you were just at this past weekend. And I was wondering if it would be okay to show you uh, Joe Gallen and Joe Working, who's the dog trainer along with your husband. Yes, please do. This is Allie, I think this is Allie. So everyone can see. Joe is an outstanding trainer. Um, how, you've been working with Joe for a long time? Uh, I met Joe Gallen through yes. some other outstanding trainers, and he's also an outstanding competitor. So this environment, Tony Purcell's House Purcell in Sarasota, she's mm -hmm. an outstanding breeder of German Shepherd dogs, and they've been collaborating for years. So all of these different collaborations have come about because uh, we're seeking this level of excellence. So when we're out nice. at Tony's place, we're with excellent dog trainers, mm -hmm. excellent competitors, excellent owners, and excellent dogs of their breed type. It's mm -hmm. a phenomenally fun day. You've been there. We've always oh, had yeah. fun. It's awesome. It's a great time. It truly is. It really is. And then um, here's a, just a, a brief video with uh, your pros canine. And what I thought was interesting is that you had shared with me that a lot of uh, military that are deployed leave their dogs there. I thought that was just amazing. Uh, Euro Pro K9 has been working and, and training dogs of this caliber for over 40 years. So yeah. if you are a high level um, person deployed and that service and your dog is not going with you on this deployment this is one of the places in the united states that this dog will be well cared for and kept at that level yeah that's wonderful that is wonderful oops ah one second there's always a little there's always sometimes technical difficulties so oh hold on one second please there we go Oh, there's always like technical difficulties. Uh, sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. But anyway, so just a, a quick recap on the webinar, our brief discussion we've had today, and of course we're gonna be continuing moving forward is that you do provide grants and financial assistance for qualified veterans adhering to the PAWS Act of 2019. You match qualified veterans with trained service dogs to fit their emotional and physical needs. And it was just wonderful how you, basically said that you guys identify immediately the type of breed and perhaps what the person is experiencing. You make sure that you, they're carefully matched. And um, there was something else that you told me initially when I first started talking to you, but it, it just escaped my mind. But it's really an honor that you guys are also part of Amazon Smile and GuideStar. And those are two very prestigious organizations to be connected to. So can you share briefly um, about Amazon Smile and GuideStar? Well, when you shop on Amazon, you can choose to donate. And when you go into Amazon Smile, mm -hmm. our name is there, National PTSD Service Association. So qualifying products that you buy on Amazon, when you buy it through Amazon Smile, it enables you to give that qualified product donation to us as a foundation. And they send us a check for that. It's very nice. Oh, that is nice. That That's nice. And GuideStar... I know that's a prestigious kind of rating system for a nonprofit. Maybe you can share a little bit about GuideStar. Well, when you do all your appropriate 990 filings, your state mm -hmm. filings, and because we have had an out outreach from minute one all around the United States, the level of accountability that we've held ourselves at the very beginning, we've been really 
uh, masterfully guided with Larry Hoffheimer. He's one of our board members and he started Parkinson's Place and, and runs another foundation as well. And he has done such a tremendous job with his organization leadership that he lent it to us and he is on our board and help, has help, been helping us guiding and guiding us from day one to make sure we stay very top notch from the very beginning. Oh, that's awesome. That is fantastic. So um, I thought we just, we did our recap a little bit there, but I thought now I would share with our viewing audience about the uh, special promo code, which is MPTSD, Therese 122, because today is one and then it's the 22nd, so why not? Uh, to receive one lesson with a trainer, one of your highly trained um, trainers, skilled trainers to receive uh, one lesson for a service dog and a handler. So all you have to do is email us at ptsd.assistance at gmail.com and put in the subject line, the promo code, and we'd be happy to speak with you and redeem that special offer. Once again, um, we will be the second or the third Friday of every month having a webinar. Um, and you know, you can find more of find out more about the webinar, future webinars on our Facebook page, visit us at National PTSD Service Association.org. Follow us on Facebook. We're very active on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And then there is our phone number. So I thought I would also share with our viewing audience a very, very quick uh, survey link with everybody. And if they wouldn't mind just taking uh, the survey, that, that would be wonderful, like I said, because um, we're always interested. Well, actually, you know what I will do? I will share it when we, here we go. I'm going to share this uh, great survey with everybody. And it'd be wonderful if everybody can participate. You know, if you can, it just won't take long. It's about a minute. And it really does help us figure out more about our market. We learn more about our market. We learn more how to um, target all the initiatives that uh, National PTSD is pursuing. So I think um, without further ado, I, I think we're at the conclusion of our first webinar. Excellent. <laughs> Good job, Dolly. I appreciate you. Oh, I My appreciate you. <clears throat> Let me just recap a couple of things. Sure, please My do. My telephone number is 941-961-5069. Yes. NPTSD.org is a quick way yes. to type in our website. And right. PTSD.assistance at gmail.com is a quick way to send us an email on NPTSD.org is the application, the pause bill, all about us, mm -hmm. videos, and um, a, a way for us to stay connected. And I believe we're going to be Definitely. somehow posting this webinar on the um, Facebook page and on the yes. website, aren't we, Dolly? Yeah, oh, definitely. Um, I'm going to be doing that. And um, is this is nationalptsd.org? Is that, Sandra, is that the website I just included in there for our viewers? Is that correct? You, you can type in National PTSD Service Association ah. or, mm -hmm. or you can type in nptsd.org. Okay, excellent. Place. Okay, excellent. I just wanted to include that as well for anybody that just joined us and wanted to have that other option. Well, I want to thank everybody that joined us today. Sandra, amazing. Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> and I look forward to our, our I look forward to our next webinar. It's going to be great. I appreciate oh, awesome. you. Thank you. Good job thank today. You. Take care. Okay. Bye-bye.